My dear friends in Jesus Christ, today we are in the 25th Sunday of ordinary time. In our society, we find there is always a dignity, there is always a power, and there is always a reverence to certain people. Even though they are there, no one is greater than anybody, no one is lower to anybody. Everybody is equal. There is always a higher and lower mentality that you find in the society. If you like the person, we may give more preference to the person. We, more, we will give more importance to the person. And we give whatever the person asks. If you don't like the person, we may love that person. But we don't give that much importance and preference to that person. But today's reading invites us that God's heart is equal to everybody. Everybody. And his blessings are given equal to everybody. In today's gospel, Jesus says a parable and he, how he explained that God calls everyone equally and in his heart everyone is equal. There is a landlord who hired the workers to work in his vineyard and he promised them the daily wages for them. Vineyard is one of the significant theme in the life of people of Israelites. Whenever they pray to God, they ask three blessings. Among them one is to give a good harvest of wines. So, vineyard and the wines plays an important role in the lives of people of Israelite. In the Palestine, at the end of the September, they harvest the wines. Because after that, there will be a monsoon. If rain comes, everything will be wasted. So they hire the workers to work in the vineyard. In the same way, the landlord is hiring the workers to work in his vineyard. And he promised them the amount. And they are also very happy to work in his vineyard. Second, we see that this landlord goes, after his, goes to the marketplace. And he saw some of the workers who are left alone. Who they are not working and they are simply standing. He went, went to them and he asked them what is happening. And he gave them the work that go and work in my vineyard. So the, whatever the price you want, I will give for you. And he promised them. And in the same way it happened in the 9 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 3 o'clock, even 5 o'clock. And he called everyone to his vineyard and to work. What it is symbolizing that? Marketplace is the place where the workers are hired and these workers are rejected. No one is cared for. They are left alone. They have talents but they are not given that much preference. They are not given that much importance in the society. So they are left alone. But this landlord goes after them and gives them what they want and fulfill their dreams. And when it comes to the third part, we see that at the end of the day, he gives salary to everybody. He gives one denarii to one who works from the morning to till the evening, one who works in the half day, and one who works in the even one, one hour. He gives everyone equally one denarii. And we may ask some question like uh, post workers work from the morning to evening. Is it, it is an injustice because he is giving one denarii to everybody equally. Even the person who works from the morning to evening, he gives one denarii. And even the person who works one hour is giving uh, one denarii to the person. I may call that it is neither justice nor injustice. But it is a higher justice. Means the landlord promised them you give, give one denarii, denarii to the person who works from the morning to evening. But he gave them whatever he promised to that person. If he is not able to give that one denarii, then it can be an injustice. But he gave them. Above that, whatever he had in his life, he gave, shared with them equally. Even the person one who worked one hour, the person one who not cared for them, the person one who left alone the society. And he gave them whatever he, whatever he had in his hand and he gave them equally. We may take in our lives and check. Whenever we come to God, we always tell that, God, my life is not full of miserable. That person is growing in his life. You are giving so much a blessing to the person. You are not giving me. Forgetting to realize whatever God has given in our lives. 
God has given the talents and blessings equally, and He has given whatever in His hand, and He gave and treated everyone equally. But we may we forget to realize our own blessings and talents, and we attempt to complain to God that that person got more, that person got so much of blessing. Yes, my dear friends. God's vineyard is symbolizing God's kingdom. The landlord symbolizing God Himself, and the workers symbolizing the world of the people. So God's kingdom is not only particular people; it is for everybody. He is not only giving importance to particular people, but He gives importance to everybody. He goes after the person He calls in His kingdom, and He gives whatever in His hand equally. And God's kingdom is totally different from the life of the earth. In the earth, in the society, we see higher and lower in the hearts of everybody. But in the hearts of God, everybody is equal. So in the hearts of kingdom, there is equality in that. So everybody is treated equally, and whatever God's blessing is there is shared with them equally. So let us reflect in our hearts: Am I have the good heart to? Treat everyone equally in our society, or I am not able to treat everyone equally. Amen.